man, we're we're here to talk about the record. It's album yes, album nine, Hellbound is out June twenty fifth. And uh yeah. but you guys also just also just went platinum with fifteen. We'll circle back to that in a little bit, but man with yeah, F, with well, not not just platinum but double platinum double platinum damn dude. double platinum with that we went quadruple quadruple platinum with crazy bitch yeah. and uh double platinum with sorry man so that's, all, that's all, all all three of those climbed in the last few years that's just so, awesome man how does that feel especially coming out of everything we've come out of to have Something like that happen, um, especially on the like right on the verge of a record coming out, dude. It it twenty twenty one's been good to you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, so far so good. Um, there's a lot of a lot of planning. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, the the album goes, um, but you know, it's it's people ask all the time, like, how do you measure success and mm -hmm. And it, it ebbs and flows, and sometimes it's happening, and you don't even know it. Right. And uh, and, and in this case, that was, uh, was happening. Right. And uh, totally blown away. Had no idea. And you know, 2020 was happening, and uh, with the quarantining and lockdown and all that, and uh, you're just kind of taking an inventory of, you know, your career, what's going on in your life, and uh, and then this kind of information comes through the pipeline and you're just floored. You know, right. I guess, yeah, I, I guess we have been doing good and just didn't really know it. You know? <laughs> right. Right. And uh, the one thing that I'm really excited about Hellbound is um, your work, you work with Marty again, who you worked with on Black Butterfly, which is my favorite Buck Cherry record of all of the records you guys have put out. I absolutely loved Black Butterfly, dude. Um, wow. Yes, Great. absolutely. Fell in love with it. I still have it on my phone. I listen to it quite a bit, man. Those songs are great. But what was the decision to bring Marty back in at this point, so far removed from that record with all with everybody in between? Well, the, it, the, the, when we got uh, this new deal, it, our manager asked us to put together a short list of the people we wanted to work with. Okay. And... Um, he was at the top of the list for me. I just remember working with him and his uh, connection to music and his uh, his skill at uh, song smithing. Uh, he's just really natural and real musical. And uh, from just going transitions from verses to choruses and creating tension and, and all that, he's just like second to none. And... Uh, and, and, and it, it, was, it was a logical move because he was taught, he was already connected with the label okay. uh, as a writer um, with the new label. So uh, he was partners in the studio. Uh, our label has a studio in Nashville. He's also partners in that studio. So when I knew found that out, I was I asked if uh, if he would uh, be, be interested in uh, producing the album. And uh, he didn't hesitate. We didn't hesitate. <laughs> and it was a really good, uh, it was a really good uh, connection. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I got super pumped when I saw that. And this, this record, dude, it's only been it's only been two years since Warpaint, man. And with everything that's been going on, was was this record mm -hmm. done last year and supposed to release last year? Or was this pretty much the like the target scheduling release for it? Because with everything that happened, for it to only be like two years in between records is mm -hmm. absolutely like. Stunning, dude. Yeah, I, it, well, we were still on the record cycle for Warpaint when right. the lockdown happened, um, and we, we, Josh and our, I started writing right away uh, okay. to stay busy, uh, to stay keep our minds occupied. Uh, we didn't know that we would be writing for a record, right. um, but we we just we had the time, and usually when we're writing for an album, it's you know, we have like two months to do it or, mm -hmm. or less. Yeah. So um, the, the, the release schedule, once we got it all done, uh, well, once we started done and we had about 20 songs and that's when we went out and got the new deal. And uh, we went into writing sessions with Marty at about, I think it was September. Oh, damn. And then we were in the studio by October. And then once it was done, 
then that's when, uh, okay, when do you want to release it? Because we were still weren't sure if and when we were coming out of quarantine. Right. So, um, what, what the man, what our manager, Barry Mazur did was, um, once we get word that restrictions and mandates were going to lift a little bit, we'd start talking to promoters and, uh, and, and, and as soon as they, they did lift a little bit, promoters started calling us and the phone uh, rang off the hook uh, with our uh, agent, Andrew Goodfriend mm-hmm. and our manager. So it ran it rang off the hook for like three weeks straight, awesome. and we and and that's when uh, Andrew uh, booked I think a hundred shows or something like that. Yeah. And, and right and right now I think we're at a hundred twenty shows for the rest of the year. Yeah, it's like five so, months. Like the, when I saw like the <laughs> when I saw like the list of dates, you guys are like, you guys are yeah. out through like November, dude. Like it's like yeah, you know, it, it, you know we we. we Tour this much normally, but yeah. um, you know we uh, it's also manageable this time. Uh, we we are getting to see our families mm-hmm. uh, quite a bit during the, these uh, tours. So before, I, I remember on the 15 tour, we would leave for months at a time. Yeah, and uh, we did 300 shows for that for that uh, for that album cycle. Jeez. This isn't 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 isn't, isn't intense. But uh, right. there, there still is a lot of shows. We're, we're, I think we have more shows booked than any other artist. Out gotcha. There. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody I've seen announcements for so far is like, you know, like three weeks, you know, maybe a month. But like, nope, you guys through like through the end of the year. Like, I mean, and you guys, yeah. like you said, like your bread and butter is touring and festivals, and like you make, you know, yeah. you make your name on the road. Like you guys are significantly like, you know, very. Oops. Yeah, we work. Uh, yeah, I mean that's because the the, the the touring environment, the landscape of all this has changed. Mm-hmm. So no, it, 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 ten years ago, rock music stopped selling. You know, as on the whole, you know, just yeah. generally speaking. Mm-hmm. So where and we were lucky that we we established a good touring business and. Uh, so, you know, that's that's how we um support our families. That's how we you know, that's how, how we uh you know, you you know or you're gonna know all about uh having to bring home that bacon, you know yeah. what I mean? With, yeah. with, with two twins. Yeah. So um so yeah, our livelihood is definitely um uh, is is the live show. Right. You know? Right. So, I mean, what was the first reaction when, like, quarantine hit and, like, you're not able to, like, tour at least as heavily? Because some bands still toured a little bit, did some shows, but, like, it wasn't, like, a full-on, like, eight-week right. tour or something like that. I mean, like, what, right. how does Buck Cherry hand? I mean, I know you guys went into this, went in and started writing, but, like, man, well, like... I mean, we, we went, you know, it was, we weren't a stranger to uh, taking time off, you know? Right. Like, we do, we, we have historically toured a lot. But there was a time when we were told we were uh, we were actually touring too much. We were hitting cities uh, two or three times in a year, right? And and uh, that was burning out our audiences. The demand was going away, mm-hmm. so it was suggested to us to take take off a, a year, and we did that uh, right after. Um, I want to say it was like 2017 or 2018, no, 2017. We took the time off and we were then faced with um, uh, going back to work mm-hmm. uh, or, or or letting the demand, staying home and letting the demand build a little bit. We, right. we weren't, we didn't know. And uh, consequently, we the band splintered at that point. That's when... Uh, uh, we we lost a couple members, right? So, uh, but yeah, it it, it it was time to go back to work for me and Josh, and we did, and uh, we came back strong. You know? Yeah. Oh God, absolutely. Because yeah, I think I remember that time where it's like we're not hearing a lot from Bugs Jerry, and then out of nowhere, boom, like exploding yeah. back on the scene. 
Um, yeah, has been, they're more pain. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And then switching switching labels was the deal with Century Media up, and you guys just decided to go in another direction. Like, why the yeah. why the switch exactly. to to like Round Hill? Well, we only we were only um, we only signed with Country Media to do one album. Okay. And then we did War Paint, and then quarantine hit. So we we're like, okay, well, what do you want to do now? So. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so, gotcha. Yeah, and then we put it out there that we were uh, looking for a new home, and yeah, Roundhill stepped up in a big way. Nice. So. And yeah. the, and the record Hellbound out here in a couple of weeks now. I mean, it's it's coming fast. I mean, coming out of everything we've come out of, things are opening back up, man. Like this album is more than just a, a record. Like right? this this album like symbolizes a lot of stuff for you guys. And the 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 title alone, dude, like very like perfect for right now. Like, what does this record yeah. mean to you guys to have this out in 2021, coming out of everything we've been through? Because it's 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 going to be a big year. Well, it, it's it's already turned out to be massive for yes. us, you know, um, with with uh, you know everything it, it, as far as the reaction to "So Hot" and the reaction to "Hellbound," mm-hmm. uh, the the song uh, we've already released. Uh, what what Roundhill wanted to do was do a video for every song and kind of circumvent radio because uh, radio campaigns are expensive and um don't garner a lot of uh you know it, it kind of it, it stays on the radio for a little while and then doesn't really translate into ticket sales mm-hmm. or album sales or anything like that not like it used to right um but hellbound what it means to us is you know like our idea when we came up with that you know uh, idea, it was like everything that we knew at that point uh, about the way, of, the, the way of life, our way of life um, was kind of going south. And uh, and, and I, I, I remember, you know, Josh was ta- Josh and Marty were talking about Hellbound as a lyric and uh, and, and everything that um, you know, as far as like we were in the middle, still in the middle of quarantine, and the way of life that the way of life that we knew was going going away and mm-hmm. and threatening to be gone forever. You know, at least that's the way I felt. Right. So, um, um, that's what that means. The song, the song in in and of itself is uh, about uh, an experience that Josh had mm. uh, when he was a kid throwing a house party, mm. but. Uh, the, I remember that we were kicking around album art, and uh, we we were um, looking at uh, photos of you know just kind of a, a vanilla uh, or Wonder Bread kind of uh, suburbia shot, you know. Right. And uh, and then just stamping Hellbound, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean I'm glad that things are getting back to normal, you know. Um, People are really pushing for that. People really want their, you know, like to be freer, uh, to be able to go out. Uh, a lot of the place, you know, some of the places that we've been to just in the past few days didn't have as many restrictions restrictions as we had in, in California. Oh God, yeah. Um, but uh, so I'm seeing, you know, a, a, a drastic change already. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, there's there's no mask out here. People are vaccinated. Yes. Uh, we're vaccinated. Awesome. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, life, life as we know it right now is not held up. Right. Or it is. I don't know. You, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, I think the world is hell bound, like just to, for some normalcy right now is what it is. Like we're, like, yeah. as soon as we see these show announcements, like we're hell bound to get back to it, man. Yeah, dude. Like, how bound? How bound? That's right.